Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Tech Corner. This week, uh, we are joined by Marwin. Hey. How's it going? Good. Uh, today, <laughs> today, we are concentrating on something that has just been uh, trialled for the FE program, which is something called Soundtrap. Now, this is a collaborative uh, internet-based DAW. So it gives you the option to collaborate remotely, obviously, because we can't be meeting up with each other at the moment. But you can then share ideas, but you can also put those ideas down just like you would in, say, Logic or GarageBand or something like that. Uh, so we're going to be demonstrating that today and just showing how it works. Uh, we're not going to go into too much detail because you will be going through this with your relevant tutors for the relevant modules that this would be useful for. But yeah, we're just going to go through and see what we can do today because we both make music um, and it's quite interesting. So yeah, you ready to go? Yeah, go for it. Cool. Um, right, so as you can see, I am in uh, Canvas at the minute. On any module that you have uh, for FE, you will see um, Soundtrap. It may not be here uh, on your list. It may be towards the bottom of the list. All you have to do is click the Soundtrap link, uh, and it will take you straight to the page, and it will sign you in as you straight away. So you can see here it's signed me in. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new project. Okay, so I'm going to... Enter the studio. Where's the button for enter studio? Enter studio. There we go. So I'm going to click enter studio uh, and it's going to start me with like a brand new project to work with. And from here, I'm going to invite Marwan to collaborate with me. So let's give it a couple of seconds. It's going to ask me, do I want to do music or podcast? Um, again, you can use these for either. Uh, we're going to go for a music template for this. Now, over on the side, I'm going to come up to our people. And I'm going to invite someone new. So the invitation I'm going to send out to Marwan. Let's see if we've got him. There he is there. We're going to invite. You can see my invitation's been sent. Have you received one yet, Marwan? No, not yet. Okay, give it a couple of seconds. So I've just refreshed my page and I can see here now Shay Stedford invites you to Untitled Song. So I hit accept. This will be just on your main page on the soundtrack. Get notifications, yes. Now, I should be able to see, once you've done that, I should be able to see here. So, yeah, uh, Marwan is, is here now. Excellent. So, let's see if the chat works. It's working. Excellent. Lovely. Right. So, uh, let's make some noise. Let's make some tunes. So, as you can see, the layout is fairly... DAW-like. So you've got across the bottom, you've got your transport, uh, it tells you the timing, overall volume, uh, recording, playing, stopping, and so on. You can also pick a key, you can pick the tempo, and you have some metronome settings here. Um, I'm going to change the metronome just to have a one bar count in. I'm going to put the metronome on um, and then add a new track. So the first track we'll add, let's add some drums and beats. Um, at the moment, Marwan, you can't see any of this, can you? Because I'm going to have to uh, sync this in order for you to see it. So before yeah, I put anything in, I'm going to press sync. And hopefully, it should now give you the option to be able to see that I've opened a track. So I hit sync here. Yeah. And let's see what happens. And there's a track there. Yeah, yeah. And there'll be cool. a track there. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Right. So I'm going to just enter in a few marks for the oh sorry steps for the sequencer so a basic 4-4 four, four pattern uh, let's play it let's utilize the volume control turn the metronome off cool let's go through some of the machine presets it's not too bad xx i wonder who that's trying to be Sweet. Uh, I'm going to loop this over and we're going to go to, say, eight bars. Now, if I want uh, Marwan to collaborate with me, I can sync this session again. Uh, it's going to say, now that I've sent it to him, uh, now you, Marwan, you could take that and then yeah. maybe add in a melody on top of it. Yeah, so, so I press sync and if, as you can see, it shows up in my page now. So I'm going to add a new track. Uh, let me go for, I don't know, piano, keyboard... Let's change the sound. I don't want to use a grand piano. Um, organ, let's say. A child organ. Might be Sounds terrible. Good. Probably going to be awful, but it is what it is. So now I've created a MIDI region by pressing the plus sign on there. 
And now let me stretch that out a bit. So we've got a four bar loop. Okay, so I'm just gonna draw them in. Um, let's see. And then No, I've done that wrong, haven't I? It's all right. Yeah, so it doesn't matter. I mean we can we can still edit it together. So yeah, if you sync that. Oh yeah, I tell you what, I will make a mistake on purpose. Yeah, and then I can see then, what, I can edit it. Yeah. You can also uh, play them in on by a normal MIDI keyboard, or there's the keyboard on the actual uh, computer. So you, your keyboard on your computer. So if you press, so I was just pressing the uh, keyboard there. So that Z X Q and it lab it's all labelled for you. So let me hear this. Is it a banger? Absolutely not. Okay. Sync it with me. Let me be the judge. Sync. Excellent. So, right, it's come up. Your collaborators made updates. Let's sync that. See if we can see the new track coming in. Awesome. So, yeah, as you can see, look, I've got all of the chords that you've made. Uh, I'm going to loop it up just to here. not bad i'm going to change the last chord and change the sound as well so because you think yeah it's awful quite, quite like the sound let's go to what did you pick organs yeah right let's change that let's go synths uh and we'll pick leads berlin lead that's probably going to be massively techno but let's see <laughs> Sounds all right. We'll just, I'll probably put a filter on that in the effects section. Uh, yeah, frequency. Here we go. That's pretty nice. Right. Let's going to go. I'm going to go back into the MIDI here and just change this last. See what that sounds like. Nice. So I, would, I think it sounds too slow, so I'm going to change the tempo. Cool. So, right. I'm going to yeah. sync that up to you. And now and if I'll... you change the tempo, it should sync it back for me. Yeah. Awesome. So One, then... two, five. Awesome. Nice. So I'm going to loop that over as well. So you've got eight bars so shay do you want to add in a uh, bass uh what i'm probably going to do just for um just because of the time i'm probably okay. just going to see what the audio recording's like see if we can record just some audio in because we can see we can do midi and we can edit it together uh, while you're doing that i'll add in a bass then perfect that's a good idea right so i'm going to try the um audio functions so you can see you've got voice and microphones and it automatically says you've got start recording so i could just play this and record over the top um i don't know what i'm going to say i might think of a, a classic hook uh to bring in from the start let's try this let's see what we get uh i'm using headphones my word is the best <laughs> look at that 
Did you add the reverb and everything already? I did. As you can hear, when I'm talking through, you've got reverb, panning, volume. Uh, I'll take the record enable off. Uh, let's have a listen and see what we've got from that, shall we? Is the best. Come on. Uh, yeah. We can edit this. We've got auto-tuning here. Uh, what key were you in there, Marwin? Uh, C minor, I think. We're going to go C minor. Heavy, heavy auto tuning there. Let's have a listen now. Oh, you can see, look, it's writing it to the file. So that's pretty good. So it's doing the processing for me. Let's have a listen. Is the best. Oh. Awesome. Uh, I'm going to sync that up. So you should be able to see that now. One second. <laughs> oh, that's awful. It's brilliant. What do you mean? <laughs> hits. I don't know about hits, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just give me a second. Oh, I think I can hear a bass line faintly through coming there. Sync it up. I want to see it. It's very loud. All right, let me hit sync. Awesome. Sync. Right, let's see what you got. All right, here we go. Oh, the bass line's bad. Right, ready? I'm going to play. Let's roll. on then so right um i mean honestly that's pretty much it's just a demo isn't it like we're not going to put this out we could probably work on this a bit later marwin or like no no nah, you're I'm, fine i'm right. safe cool right. um yeah soundtrack um it's not supposed to be logic it's not supposed to be ableton it's supposed to be a space where you can collaborate share ideas uh i just use it for the chat so yeah excellent oh you made updates gonna sing and, make, and, and make sure you make something better than that please yeah, like yeah. I mean, that's, um, that's that's not what we're going for. <laughs> yeah, we don't make music like that. Just so you know, we don't. That's not doesn't happen. But no, you can see the it, potential of it, right? So, um, it's yeah, what, why, the way I'm looking at Soundtrap is um, even if you do use Logic and everything like that, you can still export all your stems into into Soundtrap, so other people can then edit. Uh, anyone you're collaborating with, you can literally export everything, put it in here rearrange stuff in here and then if anyone wants to add stuff i think it's a great tool for songwriting as well because like you can see shay's recorded a beautiful vocal in there and you know it's just something to use for don't sing like shado <laughs> thanks <laughs> but yeah it's a it's a good tool it's just an extra point especially in the climate that we're in now where we can't be in a room with each other to collaborate this is as good as, and you can be in the comfort of your own home, your own little setup, um, or just chilling in bed. And you can be chatting to people. You've still got the video control over there. Uh, and you can just be adding in your ideas. Just You can use your phone. So the vocalist could just be relaxing and adding a vocal to the track, just as a guide mm -hmm. vocal while the others are producing the track in the background. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching, uh, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.